Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and the correct answer is two-minute tech tip. This tip marks the return of Oracle Ace Associates Rodrigo Radke and Ricardo Giampaoli. As with their previous two-minute tech tip, Rodrigo and Ricardo sent in their own video. Even so, rules are rules, and everybody has to go up against the clock. And the clock starts now. Everybody knows that data quality is a very important topic when we are analyzing data. And that's especially true uh, regarding ODI data loads to S-Base uh, and Hyperion planning uh, because it uh, truly affects its performance. Yeah, everybody knows that when you try to load data to, to planning, in fact, we are loading S-Base, right? That it's database. And to load data to S-Base, we need to inform a POV, that is an intersection of, of members, where you want to put that data. Yeah, and ODI uses its knowledge models to, data, to load the data to S-Base, and it is based on a commit interval, where you specify the number of rows that it will send to S-Base before it applies a commit. That means if in a chunk of a row we have an invalid member, S-Base will roll back all that rows, all that chunk, and ODI will switch to cell mode. And that means uh, ODI will send one row per time and, uh, and give you a, a, to S-Base a commit in the end of it. And this makes the process extremely slow, right? And how do we get rid of those unknown members? Uh, it's very easy using ODI and its check knowledge models, where we can constrain, uh, create constraints uh, on the metadata and validate this metadata uh, to guarantee that only good data flows to S-Base. Yeah, uh, but this has another question, right? Where do you get the data to validate this metadata? This is extremely easy to, to, to answer. Uh, we have all the information we, we need about the application inside the Hyperion Planning Repository, right? Yeah, so we can create constraints uh, on the ODI uh, check knowledge models that validates all the metadata against the planning repository and, and guarantee only uh, good data. And it gets even better because we can use uh, ODI variables on those constraints and create generic components that will validate this metadata against any number of Hyperion Planning applications. Yeah, this is pretty cool because with these generic components, if a new application is created, we need only to create the new uh, validations. If there's a new validation and it's done, you already have the generic components to validate that application. Easy to, faster to, to develop and easier to maintain. That's great. And there you have it. Remember to click one of those little thumb icons to let Rodrigo and Ricardo know what you think of their tip. Thanks for watching.